welcome back to my channel this is live intentionally and i'm live and i show you my early 30 diaries and how i'm trying to live my my life in the most intentional way possible and if you're new here and that interests you and you're trying to live your life intentionally and trying to grow to be the best version of you in your early 30s please click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you know every time I drop a video. And if you're not new here, welcome back, sis. It's another video, and I'm trying to get more ex more consistent for you guys. Um, do do not mind like under my eyes. I look like a pirate today. I had on mascara yesterday, and although my face is very clean, you just can't help but look like a pirate the next day <laughs> after wearing mascara. You just can't help it. Or looking like you have been crying your eyes out from all the heartbreak and pain, okay? You just can't help it. But um, as you can see, I got a good start to my morning. And now I'm going to go ahead to the farmer's market to go pick up and, well, really see what I want. Um, see if I want to pick up some fruits, vegetables, whatever they have there. Um, sometimes they have local honey, so I'm thinking about that. And then, other than that, what else do we have planned for today? Uh, the kids will be going to the library for school, but we're getting a late start today. Um, but that's still happening. As well as, oh, I have to stop at the grocery store to pick up and replenish the meats. And even though I went to the grocery store in the morning to get the stuff I made for breakfast, that was a store that's closer to me and it's more expensive. So I wanna go a few blocks down and go to actually get some more meat and sandwich uh, meat for the kids uh, for, for their lunches and stuff. So that's really all I have planned for today. Um, yeah, that's it. Y'all, so I showed my TikTok this and because it's the morning, I wanted to let you guys know what I do in terms of trying to meal prep, um, now I've realized that meal prepping is just not for me in the traditional sense. The way that everybody just buys a bunch of groceries and preps all these meals for the week for themselves. Um, I have a family of six and I have four kids and honestly we're on a budget every month and it's just not feasible, affordable, and uh, just it takes so much time and effort to be separating and creating separate meals um in the fridge we have to eat in bulk i would say like we i cook meals that are hearty and for everybody to eat as a family so what i've learned is i don't need to meal prep for like the whole week but i do meal prep per day now so to avoid me feeling like um, I need to rush dinner or I don't know what I'm going to eat next for the day because um, that's essentially what meal prepping is supposed to be for. What I do now is when I'm up in the morning and I'm making breakfast, I will cook and prepare and prep all the stuff that we're going to eat for the day and that I'm going to eat for the day. So I'll make breakfast. I'll set aside and figure out, okay, am I making the kids sandwiches for lunch? Am I making soup for lunch? Am I making um, salads for lunch? Like, what am I doing for lunch? And I'll prep that stuff and make sure it's ready to go. And then I'll also either prep the meat or all the meat and the starch that I'm making for dinner. And then the vegetables that I want to make for dinner, I make on the spot because I just like for them to be fresh. Um, so I've learned that prepping my meals daily in the morning helps me to have just the same kind of sense of meal prepping, um, for the rest of the day. And it doesn't take me three, four hours to cook stuff and have all of this stuff in the refrigerator and maybe half the shit, like, ooh, excuse me, guys, half the stuff that, um, I end up cooking maybe one day my kids may not want that like I don't want to deal with that so I prep per day so maybe you guys should try that um, and see how that works for you um, I'm really into prepping and like getting shit together because I am in my winter art guys like it is definitely a thing now and I it's so crazy how like the universe works like when you have like something set in your mind like 
signs will be put in your place for you to realize like oh yeah you're on the right track with that and I literally told my bestie like oh yeah I want to get things together this winter so that by my birthday which is in July um I have the body and like meet my goals fitness and health wise and she's like yeah like you know the winters when like you have to like put in the work right um and then after that conversation swear to you I started seeing all this stuff online about it's time, it's the winter arc, it's the winter arc, ladies, it's the winter arc. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm on the right track. I'm in my winter arc and I am ready to become the best version of myself I can by my birthday. Um, so yeah, I'm excited, guys, and I hope you guys are on a journey too um, to being the best you you can, whether that's in fitness and health, spiritually, um, mentally, emotionally, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, enough chit chat. Let's get going. Oh, look, they got pumpkins over there and over here. Oh, I was gonna think about getting some honey, but it's a little more than the honey is a little more than I wanted to spend. So. I don't think I'm gonna be getting it. Huh? Yeah, but that was supposed to be local honey, which is local from local bees from the bee like the the beehive at the farms, but the the bees that are local in the area. So when you get honey from local bees right that means they the honey is made from pollen that's local and when you consume the pollinated honey that's local it helps with allergies because your body builds up and it like kind of like a immunity to the local pollen does that make sense so yeah local honey is really really good honey and it's fresh and it's good for you know allergies there's a tip for y'all <laughs> Okay, so we have made it to the library and a big part of um, my winter arc is really taking time to do um, recreational um, reading and to read more fictional um, stuff. I used to be a big reader in high school and I've still been a big reader now, um, but more so as I got older, it's just been reading for research, reading for education, personal growth, that sort of thing. Um, but I've been really trying to read more for entertainment. So I don't know if I told you guys, but I did pick up the uh, first first book um, for the Akatar, I believe, series, and it's starting to pick up, so I'm excited about, um, you know, what's gonna happen. I'll let you know what I read the book um, when I'm done with it, but now that the kids are settled and they're getting their work done, um, I showed you guys before that I do uh, sometimes do Sky's um, learning journal, but on the days that I don't have to make pages for her learning journal and on the days that she's not with me when I have the kids, the other kids um, on the computer, I will be using this time instead of scrolling on social media and on my phone to take personal time for me to read and um, enjoy my book. So that is what I'm going to do now. And so let me know if you have any book recommendations, um, especially knowing that I'm starting the Akatar series. Um, and let me know if you guys know of any similar books um, or just any really good um, reads, you know? And um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that now and I'll call you guys back in a second.
what's up so i'm in the grocery store just picking up a couple things to replenish the refrigerator for the week i'm actually looking for apples right now oh there they go okay i'm just getting some meat some more sandwich meat um what else um some more fruit milk eggs staples that usually are gone within a week um let me see they really don't have the apples that i usually get for skylar but i'll get these i guess i'll get the green apples actually i will get some red apples it's red apple season why not right why not Right, so I'm gonna get these and something that I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually you know what I'll call you back when we leave the supermarket because there's actually music playing in the background and I don't want to get this video copyrighted oh my god my mascara and stuff is smudging everywhere It's so crazy because I definitely like, I don't know, maybe it's a testament to how good the mascara I use is because it definitely is not coming off and still making me look like a pirate all day. This is it, sir? Yeah. Thank you. So deli meat secured and I'll call you guys back probably when I'm on my way home or I get home. Um, yeah, just to avoid the music. I'm back home uh, the groceries have been delivered and put away and I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about um, something that I've found on my health journey and something I don't see a lot of people talking about um, when it comes to health and wellness and that is changing your relationship with uh, water and hydrating yourself and a lot of times on these types of journeys we're told to consume at least a gallon of water a day like drink all the way water you can but I found out that we're literally the only country that does that and consumes a heavy amount of water and that's because in other countries they actually offer real water with a mineral con you know content in it that is supposed to uh really hydrate you and a lot of times when you go to the doctor or people in america tell you you have to drink so much water it's because the water we're drinking does not have any of those natural minerals that you get from out of the springs in it a lot of the waters that you buy from the store are just created for propaganda and like just um to you know make a dollar off of um, so like things like alkanut line water is just a gimmick. It's not a real thing that you need or that's even a thing. And then a lot of water companies also will filter water and say it's spring water, but it's not. It has synthetic added minerals back in and it most likely will say that on the bottle, but we don't ever read that. Um, so what I've found that really has helped me is to pay attention to the water I'm drinking so I usually get um, Evian, um, that's a really good water for women because it's high in calcium, which is something a lot of women um, lack. Uh, Fiji water is great. Um, uh, what is it? Oh, Crystal Geyser, that's another really good spring water that's on the cheaper end if you want. Um, and there's a few other brands, you just have to research real 
good spring water and it should have ingredients on the back that has percentages of the mineral content 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 that's in the water okay so any spring that the water comes from around the world it will have a different level of mineral content so fiji fiji's mineral content does not look the same as evian because they come from two different places um another thing that i've realized is to drink coconut water coconut water is really high in electrolytes and minerals that your body needs to hydrate yourself as well um, but it tastes so bad to me. I cannot stand coconut water. Just make sure you're getting coconut water that has um, on the ingredients. It should only say 100% coconut water. It should not have any added sugars or anything like that in it. Another way to hydrate yourself that is not talked about a lot is that you can eat your water. You can eat your uh, foods to help hydrate your bloodstream and... Um, the foods that help with that are foods that are high in water content. So that's gonna be your melons. That's gonna be cucumbers, honeydew, uh, cantaloupe, watermelon, which is like super, super high, That probably the highest. Um, and those foods, you can, when you're dehydrated, you can eat those foods and they will heavily hydrate you. Um, and that is actually how I consume my coconut water. I put pineapple or watermelon and blend it up and make like a juice with the coconut water and that's how I'm able to get it down. It tastes delicious after that. So you can try that if you can't bear the coconut water taste um, and that will hydrate you as well. And what else? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can eat uh, your water essentially and you can drink coconut water and you should pay attention to the bottled water that you're drinking. Um, also, what you will find is, is that when you drink so much water that's not, um, oh, that's another thing. You can actually, uh, if you don't have minerals or spring water, you can actually use Celtic salt, take a pinch of it and put it in your water bottle and it will feed um, your body the electrolytes it needs um, to replenish and hydrate yourself. Um, so yeah, if you if you feel like um, you're just consuming so much water all the time and you're constantly going to the bathroom, you don't know why, and you're still dehydrated, that is because your body's not getting any of the minerals it needs. It's just going straight to the bladder. And something that I've found that when you are drinking water that is hydrating and has that mineral content, you will drink less of it. People overseas look at Americans crazy for the way that we walk around with water bottles and consume water because they think like, uh, they, why are you not getting, you're already hydrated. Like once you drink enough of the water that has all the hydrating benefits, your body is not going to crave and need more and more water. Um, so yeah, you'll find that you are drinking less water um, because your body is hydrated. So, and you'll see a difference in your skin, in your nails, in your hair, all of that stuff. Um, it really makes a difference actually getting those nutrients in your bloodstream. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps. Um, but yeah, I'm done. That's it for today. I have nothing else left. Um, I'm going to kind of wind down and clean up and I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope it's coming soon. I'm trying to stay consistent, guys. Please bear with me. Make sure you like this video, turn on your post notifications, and comment below um, your favorite part of the video or any book recommendations. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys uh, share this video as well, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.